Happy Tuesday. How you doing? <clears throat> hey, we're talking about angels. I want to talk to you today about the angels of God. Angels of God. We're going to talk about angels all week long. Yesterday, we started this series. Glory to God. We're going to see some things that angels do. The power of these things. Today, I want to talk to you about some facts about angels. How many of you know that the Bible, there's 278 verses in the Bible about angels. And I'm going to go into some facts about angels. So a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about angels. But I believe all spirit-filled people, all good born-again people, really believe in angels. Because the Bible is just full of information about the angels. But I'm digging it out for you. And I have. And I've known about this for a long time. But it's time to start sharing this because everybody wants this information about these angels. So we're going to start on this. Amen. Say this with me today. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything always works out for me. Hey, I forgot to do something yesterday that I usually do on Mondays. I've been trying to do it. <clears throat> but on Mondays, I usually bless our country. God told Moses, tell Aaron and his sons to bless the nation of Israel, the people. Well, I'm going to bless the people of this country because I'm a priest. I have that authority to do that from God because I, that, that authority that God told Moses to tell the priests is passed down. It didn't die out when Aaron and his sons died out. It's still, God wants the people, his people, blessed. And the way to do that is to speak it. Now, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to speak the blessing over our country. I say, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the power of in the name of Jesus, I do that. Glory to God. And by the authority granted to me by the Lord. Hallelujah. Our country, make no mistake about it, folks. This country is blessed. Don't pay no attention to anything anybody says or anything that's going on because nothing else matters but the blessing. Nothing else matters. When God's hand is upon you or our country, which it is, especially now that that blessing has been spoken, nothing else matters. Just watch. And when it happens, I'll say, I told you so. And believe me, it will. Glory to God, huh? Hey, call today if you need prayers answered. This is the most unique prayer ministry in the country. This is the only place you can call and actually get results. And people do. By the thousands. My phone rings all day long. Just don't call before 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. Because we're everything's just in a tither early in the morning. I get up very early in the morning and we start. We get our books ready to go out. We get our stuff ready to go out. This is a huge ministry, folks. It's a, actually a very large operation. And everything generally... Most everything gets done in the morning by 9 o'clock. So glory to God. But we need that time to get our stuff done. And that's when we record our videos too. So we're in the studio recording our videos like I am right now, early in the morning. So praise God. So give us that little bit of time. But you can call me up till 10 o'clock at night. And if you call and I'm on the phone with somebody else, or if I'm not available, I'll return your call. Because that's how interested I am in talking to everybody. I'm trying to set aside Mondays because Monday is Blessing Day. And I'm trying to set aside uh, Fridays because Friday is Offering Day. And a lot of people call on Mondays and Fridays. So praise God. But they call all during the week. Amen. Hey, I want to talk to you today. Uh, and please share this video with everybody. You know, hit the like button on these. Amen. I want to talk to you today. Uh, about angels, the angels of God. Let's talk about some facts 
about angels. Number one, angels were created by God. Fact number one. In the second chapter of the Bible, we are told that God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them. The Bible indicates that angels were created at the same time the earth was formed, even before human life was created. Now, the earth was formed. <clears throat> we don't know when. But we do know that there was another civilization here on this earth before Adam. It's called the pre-Adam period. And that one of the angels was the king of this earth. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get into that. I'm going to go through the pre-Adam period because that was the time of the angels. And I don't know exactly how all that happened, but I got a lot of scripture for it. And I've got it all put out in notes and everything. All I got to do is dig it out and it's going to be part of this series. So you're going to hear about the pre-Adam period and the involvement of the angels. And this was huge. So these angels have been around for who knows how long, maybe millions of years, I don't know. Don't quote me because I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know. And if I don't know something, I'll tell you I don't know. A lot, sometimes preachers will pretend like they know. No, if I don't know it, I, and if it's not in God's word, I don't know it. I'll, sometimes I'll say, well, this is what I believe. But, I'll, that, but that means that I can't find it in the Bible. Amen. So the, uh, for it says in, in Colossians 1.16, it says, For by him all things were created, things in heaven and earth, visible and invisible. The invisible are the angels. You can't see them unless God allows you to, which he does sometimes. He does sometimes. I personally have never seen an angel. But I want to tell you a story about a messenger angel. There were some people, <clears throat> they're gone now, gone to be with the Lord, wonderful people. They were with Brother Hagen years ago, back uh, when he was first starting his ministry. They've been, they were with him for a long time. They were supporters of Rama when he first started Rama. And I think I might sneeze. And they lost their daughter. Their daughter, who was very young, passed away. I don't know what from. And these people, oh, can you imagine? These two people with their daughter. And, and some of you have gone through some tragedies like that. I know because I talked to you about it on the phone. And I never have. So I don't know what you're experiencing. And I don't pretend to know. But these people lost their daughter. And they had so many people around them who came to comfort them and to be with them. And I'm sure including Brother Hagen and all, all of his family. And after the funeral, they went home and they were by themselves. <clears throat> they were by themselves, as happens so often after um, after a funeral and they sat down and they just sat there in the living room and they were, did not say a word and finally after a little while there was a knock on the door and he got up and went to the door and there was a young man standing there and he says I have information for you about your daughter can I come in and they said, sure. They let him in, well-dressed young man. He came in, sat down in the living room, and he said, I want to tell you about your daughter. She's with Jesus. She's happy. She's playing. She will grow up in heaven. By the time you get there and see her, she will be a beautiful young lady. She's clothed in glory. She loves her new life. She's so happy and she's being cared for and protected, but you don't need protection in heaven. She's being cared for and loved and surrounded by people. She's doing fine. 
And she wants you to know she loves you. And he got up. And he started walking toward the door. So they got up. What would you do? You get up and you follow him. They got up and they followed him. He opened the door, went outside. They had these steps that went down to the street. The angel walked down the steps. They walked down behind him. He got to the sidewalk, crossed the sidewalk, stepped off the curb, and disappeared. It was an angel. Had come to tell them about their daughter. Now you want to talk to me about the goodness of God. God is so good. So wonderful. He sent an angel to comfort those people. Oh my goodness. Angels bring us comfort. Angels are here to do good things. I'm going to make this the title of this one, The Angels Bring Us Comfort. Because that is comfort. That's not what I was intending to do with this video, but I just got off on that story and I just, talking about angels, I remembered that story and I'm going to tell you a story tomorrow about how an angel saved my life. I mean saved my life. Just pure and simple. I just say glory to God. I just cannot stop praising God for his goodness. We serve a good God. We have a savior worth having. I'm telling you what, God is, is so many people are serving these gods that hate them, not us. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. And God sends angels to comfort. The angel came to Mary. The angel came to Joseph in a dream. These angels, they come to Gideon. We're going to talk about all this. Oh, my goodness, folks. These angels are so wonderful. If you need prayer today, call me. If you lost something, people call me all the time when they lose something. Lady called me. She lost her purse in the store. Somebody apparently took a purse. She sat it down. Somebody picked it up. You don't set your purse down in the store because somebody beside you will pick it up and walk away with it. Apparently, that's what happened. She called me. Oh, Pastor Jim. I said, angels, get her purse. Bring it back. It wasn't 15 minutes. Somebody found her purse in, sitting on the floor in the aisle. I don't know if the person who's, and it wasn't there before because all the people in the store were looking for that purse. But, and there was nobody in and out. But the purse appeared. Glory to God. Now, the $100, she had $100 in cash in that purse. That was gone. But that's okay. That, that comes back too. I said, let's bless the people that stole, the person that stole it. We blessed them. Anytime somebody does something wrong to you, the first thing you do is bless them. That keeps unforgiveness from getting in. You can't have unforgiveness towards somebody you bless because you don't want unforgiveness to get in and block your blessing. So we blessed that person. But she called me and told me what happened. She got her purse back. But we loosed the angels. These angels are so wonderful. God, and I'm going to tell you how to do this, how to make this happen. Glory to God. Tell everybody you know about these videos, please. Call me if you need prayers answered. Share the videos. On Facebook, you can hit the invite button and then invite all your friends on our Facebook group, Pastor Jim Kibler. On YouTube, text everybody you know and tell them to watch these videos on YouTube. Go to YouTube and type in Pastor Jim Kibler and watch them. When you do your offerings and donations today, and a lot of people do during the week, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. Have a wonderful day. I'm determined you're going to live a blessed life.